On this exercise, we're really going to make sure that we're using our rotator cuff muscles, but we're going to get our shoulder blade nice and set first. So we're going to find where we attach a band to the wall or to the doorknob on the other side, right about at hand uh, or elbow height. Then we're going to take to start off with and take our shoulder blade and get it back and down. I'm going to get the shoulder blade back and down and set in a great position. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a squeeze. So I pretend like I have a, a dollar bill or a piece of paper underneath my arm port, armpit as my shoulder blade goes back and down. I'm giving the armpit just a little bit of a squeeze. Now, as you can see, I have my elbow bent to a 90 degree angle. My elbow is beside my torso, and there's a nice little space between my forearm and my belly. As we do the exercise, we don't want to see any type of movement here at the forearm or movement at all at the shoulder. It's got to stay absolutely still. So if you're doing the exercise and you find yourself moving a little bit, that is incorrect and that we need to probably go to a lighter resistance band or maybe not walk away as far. So let's start off shoulder blade back and down, elbow by your side, a little armpit squeeze. We're going to hold the band. The band needs to be on the opposite side of the arm we're trying to do. And then all we're going to do is step away a little bit and then back. Step away a little bit and then back. And as you do that, you're feeling all the muscles in the shoulder blade get tighter. You're feeling a little bit of muscle kick in and maybe even a little muscle burn on the outside of the arm. That's the rotator cuff. That's perfect if that happens. You should have no pain. If you find that your shoulder's starting to pop up as you do the exercise, that's considered substitution and we want to stop and go lighter resistance. Or if you see that as you walk, your arm is coming in this direction, that's also not that's also what I would consider uh, fatigue or failure. And then we need to go ahead and change the resistance band. Or instead of stepping away, get a little bit less resistance and just kind of lean into it and come back. 